Hi everyone, it's Bria here. If you recognize me, you've either seen me here at the library or you've been watching our many kids craft videos or kids story times. What I'm here for today is our adult craft tutorial. And this is the sign we made for December 2020. If you picked up one of the kits here at the library, I'm gonna go over everything that we included in that kit for you. Or if you're going to be doing this craft at home, these are the supplies you're going to need. What we have here is a piece of wood, pine, and it's a roughly 10 inches by 20 inches. And it's one of the thinner pieces. Can't tell you how thin, but it's the thinner one that I could pick what up. What we have on the front of our sign is stencils we made with the Cricut cutter. So the fun part of this project is if you don't want to use the two sayings included in your craft kit, you can come here to the library and cut your own with our Cricut cutter. Just be sure to book appointments ahead of time and they're 30 minute appointments so that we can be sure that it's set up, it's ready for you and that it's not booked by anyone else. What we included in our kit, back to my first point here, is this piece of pine, blue acrylic and white acrylic paint. Now we didn't use craft paint, we used paint from the hardware store. So we used house paint because it's a little bit less runny than craft paint and it resulted in our stencils bleeding less. So we chose house paint a little more durable and a little bit better of a consistency for our craft project. You also have a sponge in your craft kit, which is how you get your stencils on your board and how you do your edging on your board. And you have a paintbrush as well as a glue stick. So the paintbrush, a bit self-explanatory there, and the glue stick is what you use to hold down your stencils on your sign. That's what comes in your craft kit, and that's everything you're going to need to make it yourself if you aren't picking up a craft kit here at the library. What I did to make my sign here, I'm going to run over my process, and then I'm going to show you just a few short clips of what it looked like while I was making my sign. So what I did, I had this tip from someone at the hardware store. Before you paint on pine, it's recommended that you wash your pine first. So what you do is you take a damp sponge and rub it over your wood. What you're going to see is a slight color change of the wood turning more amber or more yellow. The reason you do this is so that your sign doesn't bleed through with the yellow tone that's naturally in pine. Now with this kind of a dark paint, I'm not sure how important this step was, but I still did it because I didn't want to have a yellow undertone under this cool toned paint on my sign. So recommended, but if you have any more info on that, leave it in the comments below because I'm a bit more curious about that tip I picked up at the hardware store. So that was my first step. Next, I painted my sign. So what I used is this blue acrylic paint included in your kits, but I didn't use it just as paint. I watered it down with a two to one ratio, two parts paint to one part water. The reason I did this is I wanted more of the knots and the wood grain to show in my sign. So here's the back of my sign with all the knots and you can see it clear because it's that more watered down paint. So that's what I did, only about two coats on the sign so that I can still see all that natural wood coming out of it. Next, once my glue was dry, I glued on all my stencils. So you have two stencils included in your kit. You have Stanza, Santa, stop here, and you have let it snow, one for each side of your sign. And I think I already went over that you can come here to the library and cut out your own stencils. So I'm not gonna go over that part again. I have all of these stencils included in your kit. So you have your lettering, you have your snowflakes, a sleigh, and I also have trees included. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but it could be something that you use as a silhouette on either side of your sign. You have all your stencils in your kit that you need for this sign, and you also have a pack of ultra fine glitter, which is optional because I know some like it and some are not the biggest fan of glitter. And I don't know if I'm the biggest fan now that I've worked on kids programs for a while because it's very hard to clean, but for an adult craft kit, it might be a bit less messy. The reason I included that in your kits is for the snowflakes and Santa's sleigh. It gives your sign a little bit more detail if you decide to use it. Um, on mine, it kind of got everywhere, but I have a bit of an assumption you'll be 
slightly more careful than me when you're doing your own sign at home. So that's all the details you need for your kit. A few tips that I ran into while I was making my sign here at the library was make sure you glue on your stencils very, very well because they do slide around if you don't glue them on super well. So coat the back of your stencil with that glue stick before pressing it down. Then what I used to put my lettering on my sign, I didn't use the paintbrush. I actually used the sponge because it seemed to work better and it prevented a lot of bleeding on my letters. I used less paint rather than more for my lettering and I went over it twice in some spots when it was too thin and this also prevented a lot of bleeding. What I found when I was doing it and I used too much paint is I got more bleeding around the larger letters. And what I did to fix that, you can see it on this middle S here bit, is I went through and I cleaned it up with a small paintbrush and some of the blue paint undiluted. So those are the only problems I ran into when I was doing my sign. And other than that, it was nice and easy and smooth sailing from there on out. I think that's everything, everyone. And if you're coming in to pick up your kit, give us a ring ahead of time so we can make sure that it's at the door ready for you. These adult craft kits are $10 each so we can cover our supplies. And we want to know what you would like us to do come January. So let us know in the comments or call us here at the library and we're going to start setting up our January craft kits soon for adults because we want them ready at the beginning of the month this time. That's my tutorial for this sign everyone. I am going to cut to a few parts of me in the process of making my sign, and then that's it for our tutorial. If you do have any questions, feel free to send us an email here at the library, and be sure to show us your signs when you're done. That's the best part of our kits, is seeing how you take it, and what you do with it, and knowing that you enjoyed it. Thank you everyone, happy holidays, and thank you for watching. See you here at the library again soon. Bye everyone.